Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you a tutorial about how to create these adorable crochet earrings that I am wearing. I was going shopping the other day and I went to Nordstrom I think and I saw very similar earrings and I thought to myself, Anu, you can do that and you should share it with your crochet family and show them how easy it is to create those trendy statements uh, very summery and very cute earrings. So here I am sharing it with you. I hope you will enjoy it. It's really easy. I am only using very simple crochet techniques, chain single crochet, a little bit of increasing and a little bit of decreasing, but I will take you through it slowly but surely as usual. No worries. There are many reasons why I love these earrings. First of all, they are so easy to make. Second of all, they are so light. I cannot stand when earrings are heavy and it weighs on my ears. I have very sensitive ears. Mm -hmm. And I also love the fact that it takes only very, very, very a tiny amount of yarn to make this project. So you can use any scrap you have in the house, any fingering or lace kind of yarn would do. I used leftovers for one of my previous tutorials, the bathing suit, the Alice yarn. I had made a yellow one and a turquoise one to um, prepare for the tutorial. So I had little leftovers and that's what I use. But yeah, so one of the many things I love about these crochet earrings. Oof, totally in love with them. Super pretty. I think I'm going to make some in many, many more colors. If you are not subscribed to my crochet family, I would love for you to join. Don't hesitate, click here and subscribe to my channel, it's free. Don't hesitate to click on that little bell as well so you can get notified every time I post something new. You can join me on my social media as well where it is a little less formal and we can get to know each other a little better. I'll put the addresses right here somewhere. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's it. If you are interested in knowing how to create these beautiful, adorable, summery crochet earrings, then keep on watching. And in the meantime, happy crochet. Bye. For this tutorial, you will need a little kit to uh, create earrings. I actually, from that kit, only used um, a specific tool and I'm going to show you exactly which one it is. You will also need a little fish hook style earring closure and you will also need jump rings. I chose a gold, but of course you can choose silver or any color that you wish. You will also need a tiny amount of your favorite fingering yarn. I have the Alice stretch yarn in a mustardy color. You need very little yarn, so whatever scrap you have. You will need scissors as well and some polyfill for stuffing your little balls. <laughs> a tapestry needle and a crochet hook, two millimeters. All right, are you ready to create these adorable, fashionable, lovely earrings? Take your yarn and your crochet hook and make a slip knot and chain two. In the second chain from your hook, you are going to make six single crochet in that same second chain from your hook. It is so tiny. It's really hard to film with such tiny crochet hook and very thin yarn. Usually I would show that to you in a bigger style yarn just for tutorial purposes, but I just felt like quickly creating those earrings for you and wearing them actually today. So here we go. Here, our first round for our first ball, which is the tiniest of the three, is made. We have six stitches in total. And in the first stitch we had created, we are going to make two stitches. So that's our second round. We're going to turn those six stitches into 12 by making two single crochet in each and every of the six single crochets we had on the first round. And in the next, two single crochet. That will make four stitches in total, four single crochet made. 
and in the next again two single crochet in the same stitch six single crochet made and two in the next eight single crochet made and two in the next ten single crochet made eleven and twelve two in the next two Right at the end of your second round you will have 12 single crochets and for your third round you are going to single crochet in each and every of your 12 single crochets so single crochet all around I took a stitch marker and placed it at the end of my round so I know where it ends and where to begin my next and single crochet all around you are actually going to single crochet all around for your third round and for your fourth round Here you are at the end of your third round and for the fourth round oh, I take my stitch marker again place it in the last stitch I just made and another round your fourth round of single crochet all around having 12 single crochet at the end of your fourth round isn't it cool though I need earrings for tonight I'm going out I know there's going to be some yellow in my outfit and I'm just creating in a few minutes some earrings to match isn't crochet cool seriously guys <laughs> all right so let's place my stitch marker at the end of my fourth round we're done with the half a little more than half of our ball see how it's taking shape already the magic of crochet and let's tackle on the fifth round and in that fifth round we are going to decrease and we're going to turn the two first stitches into one passing your crochet hook into the stitch yarning over and pull it right back through that stitch you will have two loops on your crochet hook then go to the next stitch and repeat the two same steps pass your crochet hook through that next stitch yarn over and back through that stitch you will have three loops on your crochet hook yarn over and through all those three loops and you just turn two stitches into one and what you're going to do is repeat this six times to turn those 12 stitches into six stitches so at the end of your fifth round you will have six stitches again by increasing and then decreasing we are giving it that sphere shape Alright, so we are at the end of your fifth round and for your last round which is number six you are going to single crochet all around but before that we are going to take our stitch marker off we don't need it anymore and we are going to put some polyfill stuffing into that little ball that we just created and we are going to stuff it quite firmly to keep the spherical shape of your ball and if you don't put enough stuffing in it then it's going to look like a deflated balloon and that's not what we want and this is what your ball will look after stuffing it you look so cute I feel like I'm creating a little toy for a fairy or something <laughs> adorable a little tricky to pick up your stitches because you have the polyfill in the back and you don't want to incorporate the polyfill in your yarn or else you're going to have like little white stuff sticking so make sure you're not picking up the polyfill from your little ball
and that is it now time to take your scissors and fasten off but make sure you leave a little I would say six inches tail we will need them to attach the ball to the jump rings to create your earrings all right so we are done with your first little ball let's that's the small size and now we're going to create the medium size and for the medium size you're going to proceed the same way as for the small one for your first and your second round and I will meet you at the end of your second round when you have 12 stitches in total here you go you have 12 stitches you have placed your stitch marker in the last stitch and for your third round you're going to increase making two single crochets in that first stitch of your third round and a single crochet regular single single crochet in the next and you're going to repeat that all around you're going to make two single crochet in the next stitch if that's in that same next stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch at the end of your third round if you do that all around you will have 18 single crochets in total all right you have 18 single crochets at the end of your third round and now for your fourth and your fifth round you are going to single crochet all around so at the end of your fifth round you will have 18 single crochets still And for your sixth round we are going to decrease so we are going to decrease in one stitch and then single crochet in the next until you have 12 stitches in total Don't forget to stuff your um, little ball, your medium ball with polyfill firmly. And for your seventh round, we are going to decrease two by twos. So every stitch turning those 12 stitches into six. And for your last round you are going to single crochet all around at the end of your last round you will have six stitches and then fast enough And put that medium ball aside and now let's make our third ball which is the large size and for that I will meet you at the end of your third round when you will have 18 stitches so proceed the same way until the end of your third round the medium size third round at that end of your third round you will have 18 stitches and for your fourth round this time for the large size of your ball you're going to single crochet in the next two stitches so one single crochet in the next two stitches and in your third stitch you are going to make two single crochet in the same remember you are on your fourth round and you're going to do that all around one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochets in the next so at the end of your fourth round you should have 24 stitches And then for your fifth and your sixth round you're going to single crochet all around so at the end of your sixth round you will have still 24 stitches in total
and for your seventh round you're going to begin to decrease you're going to decrease and then you're going to single crochet in two stitches de decrease turning two next stitches into one and two regular single crochets in the next at the end of your seventh round you will have 18 single crochet again And for your eighth round, you will single crochet one and decrease in the next. And at the end of this round, you will have 12 single crochets. And in the next round, you will decrease every stitch, ending with six single crochet and the, at the end of that round. Ninth round, tenth round. Single crochet all around. Don't forget to stuff it with your polyfin again. fast enough and you are done with your large ball and now time to create your earring all right so now you have your three balls and you are going to take your earring closure and that's the way I arranged mine but of course you can do whatever you want I did large medium and small so take the little jewelry tool, open your jump ring slightly, pass it through the bottom of your earring loop, your earring closure. Make sure that your large ball is sewn shut where you had those the last round of the six last stitches. And then with that tail end, pass it through the closed now little um, ring jump ring. And then you're going to pass it right back through the middle of your large ball and to the opposite side. And here you go, this is secure. But to secure it more, you're going to pass it now, take a second jump ring, pass it, pass your string through that jump ring with your needle and back right into that large ball. So now you have a jump ring at both sides, the bottom and the top of your large ball. The top one is attached to your earring closure and the bottom one will help you attach your medium ball. And you're going to attach your second medium size ball to that bottom jump ring now the same way. Pass it through that jump ring with that end tail through the middle of your medium ball. Take the third jump ring and attach it at the bottom. And up, repeat again secure it by making a few sewing stitches and through your little medium ball and then make a little knot and fasten off. And you are going to repeat exactly the same thing, attaching your small tiny ball to the last, the third jump ring right there repeating exactly the same steps and you are done with your earring and you're going to repeat all the steps from the beginning to the end to create that second earring and voila you are done what do you think i think they are absolutely adorable 
And you know what I love about them too is that they are really light. I cannot stand heavy earring on my ears. Uh, it just hurts me and it pulls my, you know, those um, holes in my ears and those are light as feathers. I absolutely love that. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you. I am looking forward to many more and in the meantime, happy crochet! See you next time! Crochet! Okay! Um, and yes, and then I, I love the fact that Luna's on the table now, shaking the camera. And Camille is barking. Yep, it's uh, one of these days, one of these days. I'm back again. Take 500,000. Am I crooked? Yeah, I'm right. Totally crooked. Hi, this is Anu. Luna, stop shaking the table.